Hi, today we are showing a new product to our range, the MM03 Common Rail Tester. Um, as it is not possible to show all its functions in one video, this will be part one of, of, of many other videos. And this first video is a general overview and later on each function will be described in more, in more detail. Um, this product allows garages to make correct diagnosis of faults in the common rail system on the, on, on the vehicle. So ensuring that only the faulty component is removed for repair or replacement. Um, the MM03 works on, on the following systems, Bosch, Delphi, Denso and Siemens, common rail systems. Um, on the car, the MM03, in complete independence of the ECU, can perform these functions. Uh, test common rail pressure in any working condition. Um, also has automatic recognition of pressure sensor brand, as well as testing its efficiency. Uh, can also manage and control testing of the high pressure efficiency by allowing the operator to, to regulate the pressure from 0 to 1500 bar. Uh, depending upon upon the common rail system, um, management and control testing of the pressure regulating valve or inlet meter and valves efficiency by driving them with the MM03 independently of the ECU, and it also allows the operator to vary the, the common rail pressure when doing back leakage tests. Um, also, when used in, in conjunction with a hand pump. On the bench, you can drive the injectors, both coil and piezo, allowing you to test the minimum injector release pressure and view the quality and uniformity of the spray pattern. Also, checking the back leak, leak leakage on on the bench. And while while driving the injector, you can vary the injector opening frequency and drive the injector in either pilot, pre, or main injection. Now we're just going to show the hand unit itself with, with um, the displays on the screen. Uh, first, when, when, when powered up, first of all, this is what comes up on the screen. So you have high pressure gauge, press enter. It's coming up a uh, pressure sensor error because we're not connected to a sensor at the minute. So it's automatically detecting we're not connected. Or if the sensor is faulty or a wiring problem, it will also come up with a pressure sensor error. Um, if we were connected, now it will display if we were connected to a pressure sensor to display the reading in, in bar. I'll escape out of that. The next we have high pressure pump. So you press enter, you have Bosch, Delphi, Denso and Siemens. Um, just went to Bosch. Then you have the different types of Bosch pump, CP1, CP3, CP1H normally open, CP1H normally closed. So we'll go CP3. Um, then you have different options, start up, force start up and tightness test. Go enter start up. Uh, it's telling us here to insert a dummy adapter because when you disconnect the, the connection from the pressure regulating valve and connect the MM03 to the regulating valve, now the, the connection from the ECU side is left open and the ECU may log a fault so you have to insert a, a dummy adapter. Um, so we'll just we'll just say that that we have. So you press start and start up enter. Um, now if we were connected to the vehicle, we'll be reading the pressure off the rail sensor, and we're controlling this pressure through the regulating valve or the volume control valve. And then you can adjust the pressure here with the, with, the, with the up and down arrows. And to start, then you just go start or stop. Um, the next thing you have is injectors when you go in here you have to uh, choose either coil or piezo select coil and options in here then you have to operate it in main injection pre-injection pilot injection main injection um, this is telling you to use this pressure sensor part number in conjunction with, with, with the hand pump on, on, on the bench so that you, you can read the pressure directly from the rail pressure sensor instead of depending upon your hand pump gauge being being accurate press enter and now if you press enter again it's it's and press start it will be, now be activating the injector 
and you'll also be reading the pressure from, 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 from a rail sensor connected to the hand pump. And then um, you can you can vary the frequency of the of the injector here by with the up and down arrows. So again, like I said, your main injection, pre-injection, and pilot injection. And then also you have piezo. Now in the standard kit you get the hand unit, um, the cable, instruction manual, uh, the dummy simulators uh, required for when you um, disconnect the pressure regulating valve and connect the MM03 to it. You need to connect this to the to the ECU side or, or, the, ECU, or, the, or the wiring loom side to prevent the ECU from going into default. And then you have a, a universal probe for connecting to the rail pressure sensor signal wire so you can read the, read the fuel pressure. You have a universal connection uh, for connecting to various injectors and volume control valves and pressure regulating valves. Then you have the Bosch injector connection, Delphi injector connection. And then you have uh, various uh, pressure regulating valve or volume control valve connections. And um, so you have a graduate burret and an uh, injector leak back connection. Uh, now we're going to show you some of the most important uh, optional extras for this kit. Uh, firstly you have a, a connection cable for Siemens common rail system for connecting to the volume control valve and the pressure regulating valve. Uh, then we have the optional uh, piezo in piezo injector driver kit um, used in conjunction with the MM03 will allow you to, to drive uh, both Bosch and Siemens piezo injectors on, on the bench. Uh, the next optional extra then is the software Bluetooth. Um, this software allows the user to, to display graphically display the test on the PC and to save and to print <coughs> the results. So in other words, anything you're doing on, on the hand unit will be displayed on the PC via, via Bluetooth and is updated in real time. So anything you're reading here instantly will read the, read the same on the PC. Um, so you can see pressures, actual pressures, target pressures, minimum max pressure, all this on, on the PC. And then you have some information also in, in a database, a branded database. For example, you'll have the type of system, part number, etc. And also you have kind of a guided tutorial then on the test. So say for example, we went to high pressure gauge, center. Now you can view on the PC, it, it shows you the various locations of the pressure sensor and then it will show us in, in a graph form the pressure when, when, when we are reading it. Uh, this can be printed and saved. Um, then for example you've got the high pressure pump. So say we go to Delphi. So it shows this picture of a Delphi pump, <coughs> the type of, the type of uh, volume control valve, location, press enter tells you the type of cable to use and the dummy simulator to use and so you so when we connect it and, and start doing it you can see the, the actual pressure and the target pressure and the, the duty cycle um, also then you go to injectors coil piezo uh, gives you Gives you instructions then on, on how to perform this. You can put in the injector number, the code, then you can view the, the pulse duration in milliseconds, the frequency, the pressure you're reading, and gives you a brief description then on, on the common rail injector and how to connect it. So Oh, no, it's a useful, useful software and kind of guides you, guides you through, through all the, the various tests you can perform with this. And as we said, it's displayed in, in, in real, in real time, so you can, you can save, view later, print to show to the customer, various, various other things. 
Um, so that's about all for today. So keep an eye on our YouTube channel for for the next video is about this Dem M03. Thank you.